Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Isengard campaign. So, on our last episode we captured Kalimbel and we destroyed a new other, another general of his and now we're gonna capture Ethering. Hopefully this, this general is gonna manage to get out or to destroy this Haradrim army, these two. Uh, it's actually the Emir of Harad there, or there's one of them. So, oh! Hashari. Interesting. So hopefully that I'll be making, uh, I'll be managing to capture Tarnost as well. Yeah, I sure hope so. Judging by the uh, the amount of levy swordsmen that they have here, I'm not sure this uh, favors Gondor, but oh well. Let's attack Ethering here, shall we? Assault. There's just a general and two levy swordsmen, I believe. But it's still a general. Devoted, Dervorin, yeah. What's this? Inventor, Hunter's Spear, Chieftain of the Ringo Valley. Yeah, he is no, no problem at all. Basic General's Bodyguard. Let's fight it out. Let's fight it out. So, after this conquest, then I'm gonna have to stop a little bit. Um, well, after this conquest, no, after the fall of Gondor, that's what I, I want to tell you. Uh, because then I'll just uh, keep a few uh, turns recruiting units and preparing my attack on Mordor. Uh, when I attack Mordor, I plan to take out a lot of his settlements really early. Uh, especially, I want, I want to try to snipe most of his settlements really early, so that I would have no more troubles against them. Okay, time to use my fire launchers as they should be used. I'm going to try to position them here on the on his uh, front to attack the middle. So let's use my ballistas mostly to to well, to destroy the towers here and the gates. I don't know if I can do both of them, but that's what it's going to have to be. These archers will keep the the uh, cavalry at bay, or his cavalry at bay. These bomb throwers as well. Come on, get over there. And my infantry, decent. That's good. I'll certainly have to recruit a lot of infantry uh, for future battles. But I'm still earning quite a lot of money, so I don't mind as much. Zoom in. Yeah, they seem to be. Uh, having a, a stand here, but they'll probably go back to their middle, and that's where my uh, fire launchers will do most of the damage. Come on, let's attack the reinforced gates. Certainly, he's gonna defend the middle, I believe. Come on, let's get to the gates. I'm not. Uh, if you wonder why I'm not moving the camera, it's because I'm at time six, and whenever you move the camera, it actually stops being that. You can see on the the number down below here on the timer, it stops being at six. Yep. So that's why I usually don't move the camera. It's not that I'm idle. I just want it to be the fastest possible, so that I can have more stuff happening on this episode as well. Yeah, reinforce gates, come on. Come on, take those out. Should be close. Come on. There's a lot of towers here, so I'm certainly... Yeah, at least I want to destroy one or two. So that they won't, won't cause as many casualties. Let's go. Is he sending everyone out? Yeah, towers. Well, if I miss something, I'll probably hit them. So that's good. Towers, uh, ballistas don't get any extra damage with the fire against the towers or any other buildings. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, I'm going to move my Uruk bomb throwers. Yeah, I guess that I could do that. Let me see if I can destroy all the towers. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Move my bomb throwers here to the gates and use them against them. And also my fire launchers as well. 
So first, try to destroy the towers. Let's see if this works. Because the bomb throwers would certainly kill most of them, you know. Of course, he has his general's bodyguard there. And he could destroy me. But I'm going to have my Uruk riders to protect. Oh, nice. I'm actually going to be able to do this. Yeah, that's good. Let's move these guys here. You Urukai Raiders, group up. Uh, move here or something. Oh, come on, get out of there. Get out of there. I misread that. 54, 59, I guess I can do that. Come on, 70. 75, 74. 75. Come on, 80. 86. Oh, it's gonna be so close. 91, 96, 100. Woo! Barely, just one last shot, actually. That's that's cool. That's still cool. Okay, so I can move here. Let me take off that. These guys, I'm certainly gonna move them there. And my Urukai, you're gonna move forward. Well, not actually. Just protect those guys. That's it. Bomb throwers. You're gonna be here. That's it. Everyone run into position. Archers, you can deploy there. Run into position. I'm trying to avoid the left tower. Or that tower over there. Because it certainly is gonna start firing. I believe. Okay, my archers are firing. This guy... Time to fire at will. I don't know if they'll be able to do so. That's it. Let's hope they can actually get a few shots. They're hitting these levy swordsmen. I don't know if they will hit them. My bomb throwers. There you are. I want him to engage. And then lose his armies with, uh, with the, the, the charge from the Uruk bomb throwers. The... The, the bombs, of course. Come on, can you shoot? Times two. Can you? Okay, it doesn't matter the towers. I'm going to use them right there as a, a, an artillery unit. Let's position these Urukai Raiders here. The bomb throwers, they're going to stay until they can actually deploy. I believe I'm going to deploy them on this side, on the flanks. Fast forward, you run into position. That's it. Now you're gonna fire. Come on, fire it up. Fire. Go, go, go. I know there's a tower firing against me. Doesn't matter. Fire. Set it on fire. Aim. Fire. That's it. That's... that's it. Nice! <laughs> good! So far, so good. That's how you use the rockets. Direct hits. Actually, you can hit the general's bodyguard as well if you can. Come on. Another direct hit. Yeah, that's it. Gather up again for... <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're so kind. That's it. Fire another volley. Yeah, stand fast, men. We can survive those weapons. They cannot go against Valor. I actually disagree with that, but... Let's go. Come on, fire rocket launchers. That's it. Faster. Music to my ears. Yeah, you really need to to use them effectively like this. You know? Let's shoot the general's bodyguard, shall we? Come on. Come on. Go for it. My archers are doing a lot of damage, but on these levy swordsmen right there. There we go. Oh, they're missing. Damn you. Shoot the Gunder Levy Swordsman. Come on. Ah, they stopped there. Okay. You can actually get out. Get out of there. 
Bomb throwers, certainly it is your time. Let me check. These guys are going to go here. Bomb throwers, they're going to go up over there. Run. You guys run. Run. Fast forward. Come on, bomb throwers. Can you hit them? Hit them all? That's it. Let's try it. Who are you trying to hit? Let me see. A front? Hey! Nice! Certainly nice! Keep hitting! Keep hitting! Who are you hitting actually? Oh, you're missing guys. You're gonna stop that fire. Because they can't hit. Come on! You know, I'm trying to be as fancy and stuff, but the more I can destroy with this this stuff, the better. Oh, that's so much fire, I gotta tell you. We killed the general, that's good. That's usually the guy who takes more hits. Slower, yeah, half the enemy force, and he's actually merging for me. <laughs> that's it, out of fire now. Okay, let's get you out of there. Let's get you out of there. Yeah, move you in. Much better. Who's using the fire or the arrows there? Nice. Hit them with the general's bodyguard there. Come on. Can you? Fast forward. There you go. Routing. Nice. Certainly you can. They are shaken there. They are marching here. Certainly I can position you guys here. Okay, let's go for these levy swordsmen, shall we? Probably they will be shaken, wavering and routing a little bit. That's it. New says, go forward and attack these levy swordsmen. Or the other ones. Come on, wretches. That's it. That's it. Strike the Gondor Levy Swordsman there. Whoops. Stop your out of fire. You're gonna kill some of my men. Okay, I just need one unit there. That's it. The rest can be these bomb throwers. Yeah, I know. I should be sending them out, but doesn't matter. You guys, get the hell out of there. That's it. That raider is all that I need. These bomb throwers will take care of those. Come on. Get over there. Nice. Now the bomb throwers, get over there as well. Out of fire. <laughs> That's it. Fire them up. Get a little bit backwards. So that you can attack. Come on. Shoot them. I guess I'm gonna have a few problems. Oh, I'm not. Stop your fire and such. Go over there. Time six. Come on. Slay them. Slay them all. Yep. We won. Men lost 38. That's how it should be. Casualties inflated 108. Uh, where are the fire launchers? 40. Well, it's not, a, not bad, but not, not better than uh, the, the actual... Um, the actual bomb throwers. So I took a little bit of time with this uh, siege, but it was worth it. It's it's good to see that you don't need to lose uh, all the time uh, some units, you know. In every siege you're always going to lose a bit uh, on those units. I never actually liked to do sieges. I preferred to just 
um, to just siege them out. But I mostly do so because of, because of you. Because this, this is a, a let's play and you want to see sieges. Most of you, uh, I believe. So I'm going to have a market gravel roads here. That's good. That's actually good. Let's have a low tax rate so that it, they grow. Uh, my army, let's merge and fast. Uh, should I move them there? No, I believe it won't be necessary. Let's end up the turn. How, where is my assignment? Oh. Oh, I don't have my diplomat in position to talk to Mordor. Really neglected that assignment. Yeah. Really forgot about it. Completely forgot about it. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's end up the turn. Yeah, spy who's gonna move. Not too shabby. Let's see how well Gunder manages to to survive here. Mordor should take that uh, other city. Come on, Mordor. Oh, I hit spacebar. They are trying to get to the Lorien Elves. Come on, Gunder. It's one of your last stands. And they decide to just leave. On the bridge. That's that's not bad. Yeah, certainly you can't possibly think that you're going to survive there. Oh, they're going to go for Brethil. Because that was the first one to be... Well, Harad is going to take Tarnost. Quite bad. The biggest problem with Harad is that... Uh, they have nowhere to go. Mordor does have, you know. So they're gonna take Tarnast. Yeah. It's his. Just hope. I was hoping that Gondor would be able to, to hang on to that. Because now I'm actually not sure. Should I go against Harad or should I go against Mordor? Because Mordor gives me more appeal. I gotta tell you. Oh. Invasion called on Ardemir. I gotta cancel this. Oh! This is from Gondor. That's good. That will make him... Yeah! This is Gondorian. Very nice. So Harad is actually gonna have to deal with this. End of turn. Mission join the invasion. No. I'm actually glad that they called an invasion here. It's really far away. This is actually perfect for me, now that I think of it. It's really far away. Let's build up some roads. Um, and since it's so far away... Let me check. Lumber camp. Um, it's not going to influence me uh, at all. You know, their armies are going to... Or their best troops are going to go for, for there. And yeah, I'm going to be able to, to just be here and be fine. Yeah, that's the deal. That's actually perfect for me. So all of these Gondor armies are going to die. Then Gondor is going to fall once someone takes Ardumir. Uh, if it is Mordor, it's kind of bad. So all the invasion armies are going to try to go for for it. And yeah, that's going to be so much better. Is the Haradrim, what do they have here? No Muma kill, it seems. And no Muma kill here, although they have the troll men there. Some Muma kill here? No. These are a lot of trolls and Uruks. Yeah, but still, it seems like I should go against Mordor. You know, just capture all of that stuff. Uh, let me actually send a spy, this spy. Go oh, check out the, the gates of Mordor. Yeah, that's... Whoa. That's one, two, three, and four stacks. Oh, wow. They actually have Uruk Archers here. Wow. Minas Morgul Guardians. Oh my god. Moranengard, Uruk Halberds. These guys are going to take quite a beating. <laughs> this guy should have some... Uh, some nice specialized units, I believe. Harad General? Actually, no. Some basic stuff. Yeah, one catapult and that's it. So it's time to probably make a pause in the, the, the videos that I'm making. Just so I can enhance a little bit this. Uh, these episodes. I'll probably make one extra episode just to make sure. Uh, yes, so I can actually, you know, 
uh, tell you what I'm aiming for, you know. This is the Gonda Spies. So the Gonda Spies are still gonna keep over here, which is kinda bad. Let me move this guy. It's kinda bad. Uh, this guy is gonna garrison someone. That's that's the, just the deal. Gods of the Earth, thank you. Come on. That's it. Foldvorg, Hornburg should recruit some units, of course. Warg Riders. That's the deal here. Can I construct anything? Anything? Maybe the Ballista Maker? I certainly don't have enough money for that. Recruitment? No. What's going to be my treasury? 7,300. That's good. That's actually quite good. So you're going to be here. That's the deal. I'm going to wait for some units, actually. I can send these guys out to retrain. And I should. Also the Berserkers. That's it. Go and retrain, my gentlemen. Hornburg, can you build Berserkers? Yes, you can. That's good. That's good. Altburg, what can you build? Some basic stuff. Yeah. So I need some spies to go and check out how is Mordor doing over here in terms of the Dol Guldur and such. But my plan is to hold up one, like, conquer this, you know, Tiri Sandwin, and then hold it up against anything that Mordor sends from this side. You know, conquer um, Onodrith and keep sending all the armies over to Minas Tirith. Yeah. Uh, the biggest problem is going to be these uh, minor sent, uh, settlements here from Mordor. Yeah. Because I could go from below. Well, if I go from below, I have no problems with anything. You know, although I would be in quite a lot of troubles with the Haradrim. So let's see if I can get this guy to go and talk to the Harads. Yeah, that's the deal. Well, I could actually recruit a new diplomat, I believe. Where can I recruit diplomats? I don't know if I actually have anything. Can I recruit spies? A diplomat, here. 250, okay, let's just tell him to be recruited. He'll be recruited whenever I have the money for it. Okay, Ugluk can't move anything. Yeah. yeah, that seems to be it. A smaller episode, guys, just thinking on what's going to be... Uh, What's, what am I going to do, basically? Uh, these Gondor, this Gondor army is going to engage some Mordor army or some Haradrim army. There's certainly not going to be any trouble at all. Uh, this Harad castle and this Haradrim army, well, they might actually attack me. If they do, I'll have to defend myself. Yeah. So I'm going to wait a little bit. Uh, certainly when I appear, I'm going to tell you how many turns have elapsed. And yeah. So until then, guys. Cheers and goodbye. Thank you all guys for watching. A lot of planning on this one.